This is a demonstration of how to add a new project to the DOC project project management system. First you need to log in using your username and password. Then if the project you're entering is for a new customer, you first of all need to enter that customer into the system using the companies menu. So you click up here in the top left on companies and you can then add a new company by clicking on the new company box on the right hand side. Since this is all publicly accessible I'm going to use a made up company name. But obviously when you do this for real, using the um, email address from an actual email from the customer if you've got one is a good idea so that you can then just copy and paste it. Obviously you want to make sure there are no mistakes in things like the email address and phone number as that will just cause problems later. So try to make sure that you copy and paste them if you've actually got them on record from the customer. Same with phone numbers. If you've got the phone number in an email from the customer, that's a good place to copy and paste it from. If you've got a mobile number as well or a secondary phone number, then put that in. Also the fax number. And if you've got the address, then that again also needs to be entered at this point. And the web address, a web, web address as well. The company owner is actually the person um, within our company who's going to be responsible for the project. So you pick those from your list of people there. The type is the company type and in this case it's a client, it's not a, a vendor or supplier or anything, this is a client so we click on client. Even if you're adding a project before it's actually ordered um, then client is the most appropriate thing to add there. In the description box you can put some brief details about the, about the company. The submit button down in the right hand corner will save the company details. Once that's in there as a company you can go on to projects just here on the top menu. There's a button to add new projects near the top right hand corner so we'll click new project. For the project name make sure you're specific so that this can be recognized um, uniquely. This has got to be something that's not going to be confused with any other projects that you might do for a similar company or for the same company. So make sure you put a, a specific project name in. project owner again will be the person who's going to be responsible for the project. The company we can choose from our list of companies because we've added it just now. The start date can be set clicking on this calendar icon here. If the start date is not yet determined then you can put a, a likely start date. The finish date, again, you can put in an estimate, or if the customer has given a deadline, then obviously before that deadline.
the budget we actually put in hours rather than money. So put in the number of hours that has been assigned to the project or the number of hours that you think is what's needed for that particular project. Priority can be set as low, normal or high. The short name should be the order number for the project rather than trying to abbreviate the long name which um, may make it difficult to have a unique name. It's actually good to use the project number here or the order number. If it hasn't actually got an order number yet, then you can sign on at this point. The colour identifier can stay as it is. The project type is an operative one. Here you can select contacts for the project. These are the people um, from our company who are going to be involved. So here you may have a technical person who's going to be in charge of the technical team and a non-technical person who's going to also assist with the project. Press continue. Those projects are at those um, contacts are added in. Status of the project. At the moment this is a proposed one. Obviously if it was already ordered um, it might be in the planning stage or if it was already underway it might be in progress. Here we're putting it in as a proposed one. If a project um, is proposed and then is not ordered at the time it would go into on hold. So at the moment this is one that's going to be a proposed project. We put that in there. The actual budget you'll add in once it's been ordered and you know how many hours work are actually going to be done. The description here can be a bit more detailed. At this stage when you're first adding the project, you may not have the full details that are needed for the for the project to actually be completed, but at this point you can at least add the detail that you do have. You then press the submit button to save the project. At the moment you'll see that's not appearing on our project screen. That's because at the moment we're signed in as Beth Hawthorne and only certain projects are, are visible. If we click to see all, we'll then see all the projects that have been added into this demo system at the moment. And here we are, we can click um, on the company if we want to edit the company details or on the project if we want to edit the details we've just entered for the project.